as animals go, humans are weird. I mean, really weird. We're the only animals to drink milk beyond infancy. And we're the only animals to drink the milk of other animals, which is pretty gross. So why do we do it? And should we be doing it in the first place? Cow milk goes to produce all sorts of our foods, from clots of cream to cheese and yogurts. But cows have literally changed our lives, and along with it, our very genes and our evolution. So to find out how, we've come to University of Bristol's Windhurst Farm. This is a Holstein Frisian cow, and she can produce more milk every year than any other dairy animal on the planet. That's 10,000 litres a year, and that's 60,000 bowls of cereal at a girl. But the only reason she can do that is because we made her that way with selective breeding and evolution. So first of all, let's find out what we mean by selective breeding and head back to at Bristol. So for us to understand selective breeding, we first need to think about evolution. Now, when it comes to evolution, I've always heard of the term survival of the fittest. What do we mean by fittest? Is that just the strongest animal in the group? So we would usually be talking about the animals which are best suited to their environments, such as having a really good sense of smell, so you can smell a predator or sniff out a food source to enhance your survival. So only the animals with those characteristics are the ones which will go forward to be the future population. So that's what we mean by natural selection. How is that any different on a dairy farm? The main difference would be that it's human beings which are providing the selection pressures. So it's not the natural selection that's going on, it's us doing the choosing for them. Yeah, exactly. So artificial selection. So evolution by natural selection is an accumulation of lots of small changes over a very long period of time. But with artificial selection, these changes can happen much faster. David Barrett is Professor of Bovine Medicine, Production and Reproduction at Bristol University. So how have these cows changed from cows, say, 40 or 50 years ago? Well, essentially, they've got a lot bigger. Um, they eat more um, food and uh, they've just been developed to produce more and more milk. When I was uh, a young boy at school, cows were much smaller than this. They were probably weighed about 500 kilograms. These cows in this herd weigh somewhere around seven to 750 kilograms. So because of selective breeding, cows are now 50% bigger than they were 50 years ago. So we've learned about our impact on cows, but how have cows changed our lives? About 10,000 years ago, we started domesticating wild animals. And a few thousand years after that, humans made a significant switch from being hunter-gatherers to becoming farmers. By growing crops and raising cattle, our next meal no longer relied on what you caught that day. Instead, small communities began supporting one another with agriculture and regular harvests. Young children produce an enzyme which helps them to break down the lactose in their mother's milk. But as they mature, the gene for this enzyme is switched off making milk essentially toxic to humans. So if you're lactose intolerant, drinking milk can cause severe diarrhea and vomiting. But after a couple of thousand years, a genetic mutation spread throughout Europe, which left the gene switched on. 90% of the population of Northern Europe now has the ability to digest lactose and drink milk. But we remain the exception. 65% of the human population, including most of China and India, remain lactose intolerant. But it still astounds me at just how much agriculture and farming has impacted our own genetic makeup. And even though we've controlled the evolution of Daisy here, she's had a pretty big impact on us as well. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out what chickens can tell you about the secrets of life? And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's 10,000 liters of. <laughs> Fine, I won't touch you there again. I get it. No, come back, you're the best cow.